hello guys you are welcome back to this section in this video we continue to look at the session 2 of our general research study yesterday on matrix so today we are looking at matrix but then we are also looking at the types and then the multiplication of what a matrix so that's what we are looking out for in today's video so if you are new on this channel kindly make sure to subscribe and like and share this video comment as well in this video and then if you are a return subscriber thanks for joining us once again so today we are looking at the types and multiplications of the matrix so if you miss out that of yesterday's own after here you should go back and then watch so that you can get the deep understanding of the matrix that we have started so without wasting my time let's move on straight away to the types of matrix in that case so now there are various types of metrics that we have we said a metric we're talking about a set of numbers arranged in rows and columns to form a rectangular what array now we have a number of types of what a matrix okay generally there are specific metrics that you need to know when you are learning the concept of what a matrix right so we have a number of them we have what we call a row matrix a row matrix a row matrix you also have a color mode a color matrix we have a color matrix we have a now matrix we have a now matrix we have square matrix square matrix you also have diagonal diagonal matrix you also have horizontal matrix horizontal matrix and then we have vertical vertical matrix and lastly we have identity matrix but remember the list is not exhaustive we have a number of matrix but for the purpose of this video I are going to look at these type of matrix in that case so now what is a row matrix what is a row matrix now when you take a row matrix you are saying that a row matrix has to do with a matrix with just what one row a matrix with just one row and a number of what columns so now let's see let's say i have matrix a to be one sorry two three one four when you see matrix a this matrix a is called what a row matrix why because a row matrix you are interested in what only one row with a number of what columns the number of columns is exhaustive it can go and go beyond irrespective of the matrix you want to take into account so here since i have just one row let's see number of columns here is what one two three and what four so in this case i can say that there is a one by four what matrix and that defines what a row what matrix so by the order you can say that here we said the order of a matrix should always be m by what n where the m represent the row and the n represent what the column so let's take note of so in this case we can say that a row matrix you have only what one column sorry one row and then a number of what columns so as we represent as what n i hope that is clear so that is what a row matrix that is a row matrix it has only one row and what a number of what columns so from the row matrix to it also becomes what a column two has only what one column with a column matrix it only has what one what column so let's say i have matrix b to be three two one three two what one this is a column matrix why because a column matrix has only what one column and the number of what rows so by the order we said is what m by n where m represents the row and the n represents what the column that is the order of what a matrix okay so if the n is the column then here we have only what one what column and a number of what rows so i can say that here by column matrix it is what m multiplied by what one mean that we have only one column and a number of what rows so here the rows are what one two and what three so this becomes what a three by what one what matrix sorry 
a three by one what matrix so let's take note of that so that is a column matrix only one column and a number of what rows now let's talk about a null matrix a null matrix is of a matrix where all the elements within a matrix are what zero that's how we call what a null matrix so if you see any let's say matrix a to be the form zero 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 this is called a null matrix why because all the elements within the matrix are what zero all the elements within a matrix are what zero so that's what we call what a null matrix now let's talk about a square matrix so a square matrix to a square matrix to use of the form where all the number of rows is the same thing as the number of columns so we said by definition the order of a matrix is n by what n but in relation to a square matrix we said the number of rows is the same as the number of what columns so in that regard we can say that m is going to be equal to what n that's for a square what matrix m is going to be equal to what n that's for a square matrix so the number of rows go to the number of what columns so here r is equal to what c so if i have a matrix of the form two three so that's in the column form then one let's say four this is a square matrix why because the number of rows which is one two a number of columns also what one and what so is a two by what two the number of rows goes to the number of columns if i have let's say three four one three six five negative one four two this also becomes a square matrix why because the number of rows is equal to the number of what columns so that becomes what a square matrix a three by three is a square what matrix so all i need to know here is a square matrix the number of rows goes to the number of what columns in that case so let's take note of that now it comes to a diagonal matrix when it comes to a diagonal matrix this is what we are saying a diagonal matrix is also a square matrix take note that the diagonal matrix is a square matrix in which the principal diagonal are non-zeros and all other elements above or below the principal diagonal are what zero let me give an example so you appreciate what i'm saying so if i have matrix a to be let's say two zero 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 one zero and let's say four sorry let's say zero 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 two now this is a diagonal matrix we are saying a diagonal matrix is a square matrix in which the principal diagonal are non zero and all the elements above the principal or below the principal diagonal are zero so i can indicate my principal diagonal in this form so this is my principal diagonal okay so in the principal diagonal you can see that all the elements above the principal diagonals or below the principal diagonals are what zero and that's what we call what a diagonal what matrix so a diagonal matrix is a square matrix in which the principal diagonal are non zero and then other elements above or below the principal diagonal are what zero are uh, zeros i mean that is a diagonal matrix why did i say a diagonal matrix is a square matrix because with a diagonal matrix you can have what a square matrix for example i can have a square matrix of this kind i can also have a square matrix of this kind okay likewise i can also have a square matrix of this kind All right and then in that case so i can form a number of squares within the diagonal so that's why it defines as a square what matrix so let's take note of that so anyway the principal diagonal are non zeros and then other elements below or above the principal diagonals are what zeros but keep take note the diagonal but the principal diagonal can either be a zero or non zero most of the times in certain books you see that's what non zero so you don't have that one and other elements are zeros in that case so let's take note of a diagonal matrix so that is a diagonal matrix so if you have covered this sorry you have covered this this and diagonal so let's come to a horizontal matrix so with a horizontal matrix to it is a matrix so let me give an example so that you appreciate much more better so let's say i have 
matrix A. How will I define my horizontal matrix? Let's say I have here to be 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, and let's say negative 1, 4. Alright? This is a horizontal matrix. Why? Because in a horizontal matrix, you say the order of matrix is what? M by what? N, where the M represents the row and N represents what? The color. Okay? So in this case, I'm saying that this is a horizontal matrix. Why? Because in a horizontal matrix, the number of what columns, okay, the number of columns is more than the number of what rows. So in horizontal matrix, the number of columns is more than the number of what rows. So here you can see that the number of rows here are what one and what two. But a number of columns here are one, two, three, and four. Is that okay? So this is a two by what four matrix, but then we are defined from the perspective of the type of that matrix. I hope that is clear. So when it comes to a horizontal matrix, the number of columns are more than the number of what rows. So in this case, I can say that M, sorry, I can say that N is greater than what M. Is that okay? Because we said the N represents the columns and then M represents what the rows. So in this case, the number of what columns are more than the number of what rows, and that becomes what a vertical matrix. That becomes a vertical matrix. I hope you have gotten it. So that is a that is sorry, that's a horizontal what matrix. Please, a horizontal, not a vertical matrix. It's a horizontal matrix. Now, it, the opposite is true for the vertical matrix. So the vertical matrix is true. Since we said the horizontal matrix, the number of columns are more than the number of rows. When it comes to the vertical matrix, the number of rows are more than the number of what columns. So let me give an example here. When it comes to vertical matrix 2, let's say I have matrix B to be equal to. So it's going to be in that form as what? A vertical. A vertical. Is that okay? So I'm going to have, let's say, we have negative 1, 3, 4, 2, negative 3, 5. So you can, re you can realize that with matrix B, I have, let's say, the number of rows that we have here. We have what? 1, 2, Three, okay, and number of columns are what one and what two. Is that okay? So these are the rows, these are the rows, and these are the columns. So you can see that when it comes to a vertical matrix, by the order we said is what m by what n, m by n. So in this case, the number of rows, which is m, will be greater than the number of what columns, and that becomes what we call a vertical what matrix. So a vertical matrix, the number of what rows is more than the number of what columns. So Let's take note of that. Now let's come to identity matrix. Identity matrix is also a matrix of the form. So let's see with an identity matrix. So with identity matrix to has the same right place here. With identity matrix is a matrix in which the principal diagonals are what one. In which the principal diagonal or the main diagonal is what one. I mean the element within the principal diagonal is what one. So let me give an example. Let's say I have matrix C. To be equal to let's say two one sorry two one okay two one one four one three and then let's say one three five so with matrix C you can see that this is a principal diagonal that you can easily draw in here. So this is my principal diagonal. You can clearly see that the principal diagonal is what one, and other numbers can be either zero or non-zero. So that is what an identity matrix. So identity matrix is a matrix in which the principal diagonals are what one, and there is a non-zero or zero below or above what the principal what diagonal, which is what one. The element within the principal diagonal is what one one one. So let's take note of that. So that is an identity matrix. So if I have a square matrix of, of a form where here is 1, 0, let's say 0, 1, you can call what an identity what matrix and call your identity what matrix. So let's take note of that. Let's take note. So we have a number of actually have a number of what types of matrix, but for the purpose of this video, we're just looking at these types of what matrix. So if you have any question, kindly let me know in the comment section and then I'll give you a response. So if you're also new here, please make sure to hit the like button, return subscriber, hit the like button and then share it with your friends. 
and comment let me see whether you're getting the concept right and so that we know how to move on so these are the number of types and as i'm saying it's not exhaustive we have a number of them we can read more and find out more but for the purpose of this video we are just looking at these types and it's a fundamental types of measure you need to know for every mathematician or for every business person who studying math in helping i mean one or the other way to assist your learning so these are the things that you need to know as fundamental so if there is any question let me know and know how to assist you in that case okay so let's move on to talk about multiplication of a matrix multiplication of a matrix multiplication of a matrix so when it comes to multiplication of a matrix okay we are saying that multiplication of matrices are done where we consider the number of rows of the first matrix to be the same as the number of columns of the, in the first word in the first i mean in the second word matrix the number of rows in the first column is the same as the number of columns in the second word matrix so that's how the, the the rule for the multiplication of a matrix so let's take an example let's take an example you appreciate what i'm saying much more better so now we are taking from the basis okay we are taking from the basis so that you appreciate it much more better you appreciate it much more better 